All right. Good morning, everybody. Sorry for the late start. Um, I had to do some reconfigurating. Reconfigurating? Is that a word? Reconfiguring of my streaming PC. Um, moving some stuff around in the USB ports, and it messed up my microphone. So I had to get that working properly because uh, you couldn't hear me in my tests, but everything seems to be fine now. Um, I have a surprise. Well, it's not a surprise if you've been following me, but I did get a webcam. Um, my webcam is set up. Not sure about the lighting and such. I may end up having to invest in some lighting. Uh, it's not terrible. I could turn on the overhead light, but it's, I think it's pretty harsh. So we're going to try it like this. Um, hopefully someone in the chat will let me know how it looks. But without further ado, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, Day 2. Hi. Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm Almas Aries. Uh, at the end of the stream, I will make a point to show you um, Barry's urn. Barry is my dog uh, uh, that I had for 17 years. He was around 18 when he passed away back in April, and I had him cremated. And I've devoted this entire stream project, really, to him. And I mention him occasionally. I don't mention him every time, but um, this being the first time I've had a camera, I will definitely show you his urn uh, at the end of the stream. Uh, just out of respect to him and my love for that wonderful companion I had for so long. But anyway, on to Tomb Raider. Oh, we are 24% complete. This is a 100% run, as it says in the title. Um, also, doing bow only on hard mode. I didn't really go into what bow only means. I know that sounds sort of crazy. Snow. For me, bow only is, is I don't normal. kill any enemies with anything but the bow. There are times in Tomb Raider where you have to use other weapons uh, to get through obstacles. So obviously I will be using that weapon for that purpose, but I will not kill any enemies, bosses, or anything else with anything but the bow, unless not given an option. And I'm essentially referring to like, on Thursday when we started, where Laura is ambushed and all she has is the gun that's lying on the ground uh, near her. She has no arrows for her bow. So in that case, you have to. Uh, I will be using uh, melee attacks. I, I don't think that should be excluded from bow only mode, bow only run. Basically, just no other ranged attacks. Uh, so no no guns really. If you want to just get right down to it, bow no guns. But anything I can do uh, melee kills, uh, which will be coming up very soon. I will definitely be using. Especially on hard mode, those can sometimes be a lifesaver. Alright, so here we go. If you recall, we have been tasked with going to the light tower and um, sending out an SOS to try to get somebody to come help us here at the, uh, the island where we have been stranded. Nope, 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 nope. I just said I'm doing bow only. How many are there? We need some Now there are definitely some tactics that you have to use in hard mode bow only run. Um, a lot of A lot of sniping from a distance, that's what bows are good for. A lot of uh, baiting guys to come after you, because if they have to run down this nice path here, I have plenty of opportunity to shoot them. And 
if somebody gets close, I will show you the uh, the counter moves that I just recently took. So that's probably a good indicator that they're going to come down after me. They can't get behind me, so... Come on, get the dodge right. If I dodge at just the right now. moment. Oh, it's not, it's not doing it. Okay. I don't have the... Oh! Okay, well we can do the, the dirt throw. Which gets in his eyes. And then, oh, now we can shoot him in the head. That works. I thought we had gotten the skill to uh, dodge counter, but maybe not. Maybe I'm going to stick it. Maybe I should go back to the, to the fire and check that out. Oh, look! All of a sudden I get... Whoa! All of a sudden I can't go back. Okay, that's fine. We got this. See, I think I can... Oh, look. You're down. Come on, show your ugly head. button. Alright. Again, we're going to trigger guys to come down here and make them funnel them to me, essentially. Oh! Where did that come from? Are those coming across over the fence? Oh, they're coming from up there, okay. Let's see if we can get around her. I'm gonna go up here. And then up here. Oh! Oh my goodness, no! Oh wow. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's wait here for a second and recover. I want it. Th There's oil bells right there. Which I can't. Crap. There we go. That'll work. Yeah, that is a well-placed barrel, I must say. And we'll just take a quick second to open this relic. Some what is up, Sarah Moss? Tags. Thank you for coming on. How's the uh, camera look? I know it's a little bit dark, These but the overhead II. light's pretty harsh. It's funny, I, I go to look to see how the camera looks, but then I'm looking to the side, and so I don't really get a good example of what the camera looks like. So... Okay, she's still crouching, so there's obviously still guys around. Stop her! Stop her! Damn it! Over there! Behind the wall! Come down. Oh, that went right through his head, I'm pretty sure.
Okay, good. Good. I, I kind of thought maybe it was okay. Like I say, every time I turn to look at it, I'm seeing the side of my head. So it doesn't do me a lot of good uh, evaluation-wise. All right, let's go get all these guys collected from. I think I can go up here. Yep. If I remember, yep. And a document. Over the years, there have been other survivors, but I yeah, avoided them. Yeah, that was close. Them. And if they got in my way, I was not merciful. But now I know I need others. In order to move forward, I must fully control this island. So I will gather a small group of loyal followers. They must understand power and the need to organize. But more importantly, they cannot hesitate to kill or use violence. It will be part of their life here. They will need structure and purpose and work. But when this island is mine, I will discover the true secret of the storms. I can't tell you how happy I am that the game is reading and I don't have to <laughs> after bug fables. Oh, that was a lot of reading. It's a lot of talking for that game. Not that I didn't enjoy it, but it's just a nice change of pace not to have to read everything on the screen. Oh, I'm sorry. Apparently if... Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. Apparently, if you shoot somebody off the zip line, it doesn't matter if you get a headshot or what. It is a instant kill. Which is always nice. Oh! Never gets old. Just love shooting them as they're before they throw. Well, not only the narration, but like it reads the documents like in the voice of who wrote them too. So, you know, a lot of games the character will talk and all that, but you still have to read aloud the in-game lore. This game even does that for you. I just appreciate it so much. Okay. Obviously, if you've never played this game before, but you've played games in general, you'll notice this is a drop I can't come back from, I can't climb back up from. Hence, a boss arena. I don't think I can climb back up. Yeah. And here is said boss! Out of the way! She's left! Okay. Okay. I guess this is where they actually introduce the dodge mechanic. So... If dodged properly, Laura will actually automatically aim back at the... Back at the dude. If dodged properly. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That's right, buddy. You didn't like that, did you? There we go. Oh, I almost got the headshot. It is so hard to do fine aiming with a controller. Shoot! There we go. One of two bow parts found. Yes. Still alive. 
I love it when she talks back to them. It's so bad. Yes, still alive. Weapon parts significantly upgrade your weapons. Search savage crates and loot bodies to find more. I'm so excited to play this trilogy. I've been, like, thinking about the games to come and the parts of them that I really like. What is she looking at? I don't know. That's weird. She clearly had her eye on something. Kept looking back that way. Alright, in here... I'm trying to remember if somebody tries to surprise you in here. I honestly cannot recall. Welcome to those who recently joined chat. Feel free to join chat. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I think you understood what I meant by that, even though it wasn't very eloquent. Um, but yeah, I love to talk to people while I'm playing. So, here for eight hours, got plenty of time, whatever you want to talk about, short of those things that cause uh, argument, like, you know, politics, religion. We're not here for that. Otherwise, you know, when you talk about video games especially, that would be great. I've been watching quite a bit of uh, GDC content on um, YouTube, particularly um, a lot of stuff on the most recent God of War game. There's some really interesting talks that were given about the combat in that game and the no-cut camera in that game. I have 1,800 salvage. <laughs> when you're not upgrading anything but the bow, salvage is not an issue. Although, to clarify, I will upgrade everything else eventually. I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna worry about it though until the end because I'm not gonna use it. Badge awarded to marksman second class in the Imperial Japanese Army. Examine to find hidden information. Hmm. A faint kanji etching. Someone's name? Right. For some reason, I feel like we're going to get ambushed one more time. But maybe not. No, I guess not. Don't go that way yet. First of all, let's go here. And we have a skill point. So... Ah, accomplished killer. We were gonna take that next. For the additional XP. Um, if you weren't here for day one, I kind of explained my thought process on on upgrades. I always take the upgrades that give bonus XP first, because that way you get the most out of them. And obviously if you're getting bonus XP, you're gonna level up that much faster to get the other things. The plan is taking shape in my mind. In order to unlock the power of this island, I first need to understand what has happened here. I need time and room to study this place. There are many mysteries here, foremost of which the ruins of an ancient Japanese empire and a mysterious queen. It all started with her. I like Matthias's voice actor. I don't know who it is, but he does a really good job. Okay. 
so I don't have any upgrades. Um, I had said yesterday if anybody wants... Oh, I was going to show off... That's what I was going to do. I was going to show off the uh, outfits once I was in daylight. I think this would be a good place to show off the outfits. And if you have an outfit you want me to wear, I'm more than willing to do that. Um, but this... The Definitive Edition comes with all the DLC outfits. So we're in the default. Um, the Hunter, this outfit camouflages Lara in a heavy coating of mud, action movie style. So that's this one. And yep, she's got mud pretty much head to toe. This actually reminds me of um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. There's a uh, skill that you unlock, basically covering yourself in mud for stealth purposes. But, so that's that one. Let's see. Then we have Aviatrix. This outfit dresses Lara up as a classic 1930s adventurer, bomber jacket and all. I do like this one quite a bit. Very cool. Also probably a lot warmer than what she's wearing by default. But yeah, that's a, that's a cool outfit. Oh, I meant to shut. I just saw her necklace. So. Dang up. Oh my goodness, can I not get it down? I didn't realize it was tied. I guess that makes sense that it was tied, but it just didn't occur to me. So, hanging up behind me, and I don't know if you can kind of to see this, I might have to turn the light on. I have a Lara Croft necklace. Here, I'll turn the light on. Oh gosh, the harsh light. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to get closer to the camera. This came with the um, Definitive Edition Strategy Guide. Uh, one of the very, very few collectibles from those guides I've kept. But yeah, it's the necklace that she's wearing in this game that she found, uh, I believe, like on a dig with her father when she was really young. So yeah, I thought that'd be cool. I'll hang that back up later. Okay, so yeah, just seeing her necklace reminded me of that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's the Aviatrix outfit. Then we have... Okay, Gorilla. This outfit makes Laura look like a jungle warfare gorilla with a U. Not a, not a gorilla with an O. That would be a really weird outfit to wear. That's this one. I kind of like it. I like the knife uh, sleeve scabbard at the front there. Um, it's pretty cool. Not my favorite, but it's not bad. Also shows off the necklace fairly well. The necklace physics as it swings back and forth. Gotta have that necklace physics. Okay, three more. Mountaineer. The Mountaineer outfit features the padded vest, grapples, and harness of an expert climber. Okay. Back out here. So you can see that one. That's probably the most climate appropriate one. But you can't see the necklace, which is sort of a downer. Since that necklace is so important. Or maybe significant is a better word. But important. Demolition. Outfit Lara with the demolition gear featuring an engineering jumpsuit and belt pack. I would like to point out, if you ever played the earlier Tomb Raiders, 
this is way different. Earlier Tomb Raiders, if they had unlockable uh, or DLC outfits, they were generally bikinis <laughs> or swimsuits or something, or maybe an evening gown or something. This is a much different approach to the character, uh, which I actually like. Um, and she's still cute. Don't get me wrong. Like, and, and don't think I'm some weirdo because I think in a video game character is cute. Like they designed her to be attractive, but she's not a sex object, which I feel like the the unlockable uniforms or, or outfits or whatever in the previous games sort of um, exaggerated, shall we say? I mean, there were exaggerated parts about Laura already, so, but that's enough of that. Okay, last outfit, the Sure Shot. With the Sure Shot outfit, Laura wears a competition-style archery suit with high boots and forearm guards. I think this might be my favorite just because it's so stylized. Um, I like the one, like, like elbow length glove. I like the uh, the special glove that she has for her drawing hand or drawing arm. I like the boots. It's either this one or the the uh, the aviatrix. I think is my favorite. Aside from the default one, the default one's nice. The only thing is, if you'll notice, they did not design these outfits, or did not design the bow with these outfits in mind, so it clips through. Which is disappointing. It's hardly game-breaking, but anyway. Uh, so like I said, if you have a preference, want me to wear one outfit while I play over another, let me know. Uh, I'm just going to go back to the default outfit for now. Okay, so, before we move forward, we're going to go back to this building and loot these guys. But more importantly, we're going to get this XP chest. And then down here... Is there anything down here? I'm trying to remember. No. I guess it was just that chest. Okay. And then they're not one-way zip lines. You can go up them as well. Oh, I think that's everything in this area that I can recall immediately. As I said before, there are no missable collectibles. So if we did miss something here, we will be able to come back here in the future through fast travel or what have you. Okay, here goes. They give you a really good idea of just how high up she is. Oh no. That looks like it's a one way trip. Unfortunately, you can't control the camera here, or I would pan around and look. It's still pretty breathtaking. There you go. Yup. That was where we came from. You can see the bridge in the background, and then the building that we came out of. And on the other side of that mountain, I suppose, is where we came from, uh, where the forest and stuff is. <laughs> 